everybody, JC here with another TNI Toy Review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Avengers Animated Series 6-inch Black Panther figure from Hasbro. Now this figure comes packaged in the same style packaging we've been seeing with these other Animated Series figures. It's a pretty standardized card back. Up at the top, you've got the Avengers logo, and then you've got some artwork featuring Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, and Hulk. The figure's clearly displayed on the card back. Down below, you have some artwork for the Black Panther character and the name. On the back of the packaging, you have more artwork for Black Panther, a brief bio in multiple languages, and then a look at other figures that have been released in the line. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Now, it should be noted that this line of figures is really geared more towards the younger kids. Even though these figures are listed as 6-inch, they're not quite as tall as Marvel Legends, and they definitely don't have as much articulation. Now, this particular figure comes with no accessories at all. The figure itself is all you get. And it's based on the Avengers Disney XD animated series, and I think they've done a pretty good job of capturing the look of the character from that. Now I do want to note that the black, you've got the shinier black on the legs and then a more flat black on the upper body and the head sculpt. So I'm not sure why they did the two tone, different tones of black on the figure. But you definitely in the light notice that the black on the upper body is a little bit different than the black on the lower body. And for the head sculpt, he's just got the whited out eyes and they've sculpted the ears, which look pretty good. And then he's got this sculpted necklace that's done with a metallic gold, which stands out nicely on the black. And I like the fact that they actually sculpted these, not just painted it. And then he's got the metallic gold on his wrist bracelets, as well as on, a, on these ankle bracelets. And then for the hands, the hands are sculpted in an open, almost clawing type position. And they have given him claws. You can see on the tips of his fingers that they're a bit sharp. They didn't differentiate the claws with a different color paint or anything. It's just a solid black. But I am glad that they sculpted the hands in a clawing type position. So this figure stands at about 5 and 3 quarter inches tall. And here's a comparison with the Captain America and Iron Man figures from this line. Iron Man's the tallest of the three. And Black Panther and Cap are about the same height. And here's a comparison with the Marvel Legends Captain America Civil War Black Panther, and you can see the Marvel Legends one is taller. So these figures have very basic articulation. With this one, you can turn the head to the left and to the right. You have a little back and forth movement, but not a whole lot. Arms attached with your standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder, so you can get the arm out good. You've got good rotation, no bicep swivel, single hinged elbow, so you can bend the elbow about that much. You do have rotation at the elbow, but no wrist articulation. No ab cr type crunch, no midsection articulation, no waist swivel. Legs are done with a T-crotch type design, so you can get the leg forward about that much. And with this one, you really can't do the leg back at all. No thigh swivel, no knee articulation, and no ankle articulation. And then two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I would say this is a decent looking figure. And keeping in mind that it's made more for the younger kids and they only cost about 7 or $8 each, I don't think it's a bad figure. I would have definitely liked to have seen a little more articulation, maybe some knee joints and a waist swivel would have been nice. Otherwise, though, I think it's a good figure. And if you've been getting these or getting them for your children and they're fans of the Disney XD animated series, I think this is one you'll definitely want to check out. This figure is available now. We'll have a full image gallery up at MarvelousNews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And if you're so inclined, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. And you can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later.